I'm Jackson and I'm eight years old and I'm going to show you how this leprechaun or trap works and it's Fort Knox and it's um, um, it has the most gold in the world so a leprechaun would probably want to go inside. So he goes, so he goes in and then there's like a rug and then He'll see all the gold, and he'll want to go to the gold, and then he'll fall in, and then there's the traps stuff under here, and then he'll, and it'll be dark, so he won't see the cracks on the rug, and then he'll go in, and then he'll fall in the trap, but then he'll be too scared to come out, because the army guys are over here and then he'll come in the first place because their heads are looking different directions and then he'll try to sneak in and then he's trapped inside the box and then the fur is sticky so it so it like gets on him so he gets all trapped and then he can't get untangled. So I noticed that there are um, no rainbows or shamrocks here. Um, why no rainbows or shamrocks? Because he might think it's a leprechaun trap. Anyways, why would there be a rainbow in real life right next to it? You don't think there's rainbows sometimes at Fort Knox? Mm -mm. Do you think there's shamrocks at Fort Knox? Because it's in Kentucky and it's sunny a lot and it doesn't rain a lot. Oh. Anything else you want to tell us about your leprechaun trap? No. Okay. Well, it looks great. Congratulations on a great trap.